Onivia, League of Legends highlights. You want to try to get an advantage there. And it's going to be Volibear, yep. which is starting to see some action. An Ooh. early ganking champion that can be really, really strong. So now you have to be scared, really, whatever you play into the top side. Volibear can make that. It goes back to base. He'll equalize on the buys, and it's almost guaranteed just to be straight towards Hullbreaker. But we have both junglers down here around this bottom side. Santorin's looking. Information known that Inspired was around. Walks in 1v3 for a moment. Doesn't have a lot of health anymore. Inspired flashing away, but his health bar is low. And a kill comes through. Hans Sama's on the board. Can they chase down an Accord JJ? There from Bjergsen, but JoJo shrugs it off, and EG move into the rift with a uh, forced reset on TL's bottom side. They can, they can know that this dragon is for sure there. Predator towards top, nice slow, should be in range for the cage, has to. Um, but Hansama, I don't know if he had the sixth sense or what, but he just backstepped there out of vision and they aren't able to connect. So it's Danny that ends up going down sums. Reset on the second Herald there, has been picked up from that one. Mid lane was crashed a little while ago. They're gonna go for the play now, and Anadol's big damage, but he does have a shock on, takes up for a while. Tries to walk out, 100 health left, and does not yet die. Finally burns, but the same happens to Inspire. Two deaths for the jungler, one now for the TL support. Santorin dangerously low. We're not gonna hit second one. I'm, uh, the WQ with the smite coming through, all of their E as well, and you can secure these objectives from really, really high amounts. He's been doing it great. Here. Uh, that's the Rift Herald. It's not gonna kill the turret, so unless you put in more pressure, and they're not gonna, it's damage to the turret that's not gonna die anytime soon, and TL just check in off the structures. Turret number two is down. Gold lead reads 2,000. And they're just in complete control of the map, now heading topside, and Vulcan and Jojo Pion are about to be in a two versus four. Will they live? Answer seems unlikely of lack of safety for Jojo. Vulcan gonna be tanky and try to walk his way out, but Vagar, yeah, there you go. Finalizes the kill, presses R, takes it. Three to one. The map so consistently, and that's what's giving them access to the tier one mid. That's what gives them control of the jungle, which they can then push into a kill, and now the tier one top. They are just still actually invades to try to contest for vision here again. We can try to come and, and look for a fight. Yeah. Of course, in the end, won't be very consequential here. They're not able to get anything from it. But TL is just bleeding EG out, controlling their jungle. Good stun, decent damage. Ulti on for everybody at this point. Nautilus may drop, lock it, pop. Meganar. There's a kill and no rocket to hit Vulcans. How about the rest of this one now? Sidestepping away. Ooh. Hansama gonna be slowed, but the cage lands and the flash means nothing. Impact dies. One for one in the fight and Whippo snipes down a second. Jinx chasing, stun on the turret, cleansing away. One hit and a flash in for Danny takes one down. Down. He'll die for the play, but at least you made Hansama die. Hansama's positioning was so good in evading the, the attack by secondary turret, but then you can tell at the end, Danny gets so fed up, flashes in execution style, <laughs> four shot right in his face to make sure he's going down. This is illegal! <laughs> well, <laughs> turns out it's not illegal. Every brush, so they're not getting caught off guard. Now they have Hansama here behind them, so they move forward, front line first, and they're gonna hook straight in on. Pretty good damage on a Vulcan, has the W, has the aftershock, Bulliver ulting away, Vulcan will die, and now it's time for TL to find a route, walk in a range, hook him up, and inspired. Hey, got a pretty good Gore Trigger heal, but still. Bjergsen holds the ult, waits it out, lands the snipe, another two on the board. Team Liquid will not be stopped, another flash forced away from Jojo Pion. And TL have really good turn off of Baron too. The cooldown here for Bjergsen with his event horizon come right will come right back up. He's almost level 16. They can start up this Baron. If anyone gets too close, you get caught with a cage. They can try impact about to be Mega Nar, stunned up several times in a row. Ults one backwards, and there's assist number 3,000. Finally two on the board for him, but it's still Baron. Over there. They can't stop some of this little bit of damage coming through. Cannon's buffed up. I mean, Whippo just is is so far. You know, he's almost 320 CS at 7 oh, minutes. Flash stun. Jojo hooked back in. Ulti's gonna land, and Bjerk says unstoppable. Quick stopwatch for Core JJ. They'll tank the skill shots. They'll dive for a second. Inspired once again, left alone. Goes for the play. Finds the kill into Han Sama. Nicely done by the Sin Zhao. However, he is still left alone. No further resets. 3v4 in the map. Can't find the kill on the core. That <laughs> turret, thankfully, is hitting Santorin. Oh, that looking shield. For the end. That shield was enough, though. Four versus two to end the game right now. Next turret, number one, gonna fall rapidly. Thank you, Demolish. Adding it up. The flash play for Vulcan finds a stun, but they've caught one, and that's gonna be impact in the dirt. Next is gonna fall and pick it up where they left off. Team Liquid crushing EG in under 30 minutes. Team Liquid, the team to beat in the LCS.
Morpheus now 4-1 versus Neo. <laughs> for all those keeping track. As